Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another edition of Faith of Life. My name is Hamid Slimi and I'm your host for this show. Youth towards success. When we speak of youth, we think of success, we think of hopes and dreams, we think of goals, we think of achievements, and we think of different things, whether it's sports, it's a career, it's education, graduation, youth towards success, how we can help our youth and how we can show them the right way if they take our advice and orientation. Uh, these are a few points I would like to emphasize on today. Of course, uh, we've seen that the priorities that the youth should focus on are as follows. Number one, the relationship. So when I say to a youth, I say your relationship with your maker, God Almighty, is the most important one. And then relationship with the parents and family. And then of course, health, education, career. These are the things a youth should focus on. Relationship with the neighbors and friends, relationship with humanity and relationship with the world. So all the youth, all humans for that matter, need to be reminded of these priorities. But notice here for the youth, I have put uh, even before relationship with neighbors and humanity, the health and career and all these things, because these are the times for the youth to develop their health, meaning to practice sports or to eat healthy, to stay away from drugs, to stay away from alcohol, to stay away from anything that would take them from the normal way that leads them to a good growth so they can bear fruits uh, later. Otherwise, as we see in these days, many youth get distracted with many things that take them from their path towards success. And that's why we're talking today about youth towards success, because the time we can achieve success is done actually, is the time we are you, youth and young. It doesn't mean that when we're not in uh, uh, young we cannot achieve success but most of the success is achieved in life because of the time invested uh, and 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 the time and the education and the learning and the skills we gain when we are young as we said many times before the time we spend here uh, at this moment uh, when a person is young is uh, worth 10 times more than the time which will be spent in the future in old age. Therefore, we need to focus on many points and the priorities we mentioned, they start with first the relationship with God. If a person has good relationship with God, always and always it will be a successful relationship and it's successful relationship that leads to other successful relationships. And life is about building relationships and partnerships and building, you know, good relationships with friends and family members. So that's why we want to, uh, in our uh, counseling sessions, in our uh, discussions for parents with their children, for teachers, for educators, for youth counselors, to emphasize on priorities. And once a youth understands his or her priorities, then everything becomes clear for him or her towards success in life, in all aspects of life, uh, spiritually, physically, uh, financially, intellectually, socially, all levels, it's success. Because this is the time where many youth get distracted. They waste their time in uh, uh, things that are useless. And then they realize after the time it's too late to change uh, or to do something that they have wasted their time and there is no way they can go back. However, there is never too late for those who always think positive. So that's why I would like to talk about a few things and some of our viewers, especially from the youth, uh, spoke of something called attitude, the attitude that people have towards many things. And they said that in high school or university or with their friends, they realized that there is the issue of attitude. People have some attitudes and specifically, if I can uh, specifically talk about the, um, for instance, the children of the immigrants. And many, for instance, in our Muslim community have migrated to uh, North America, in Canada, US, and they actually live a life that is different from their 
parents back homes. And then there are problems in communication. So there is miscommunication, mistrust, and of course there are things, and many parents are complaining, many children are complaining. So how can we solve this? Is by changing the attitude towards a positive attitude. But how? There are few points I have defined here. There are many points, but I will confine with these points because they're so important. There, are, there is this problem of inferiority complex. We have to change the attitude from feeling inferior to self-confidence. Because a lot of youth in my discussions, I find that they have this, we are immigrants, we are the children of immigrants, and we have our friends, and they are sometimes in self-denial. We do not, we have nothing to do with our parents and their back homes. So it's something, they look at it as if it's an inferior thing. And if a person has that inferior a thinking of his parents where he's coming or trying to hide his own you know uh, background because I am born here or I grew up here so I have nothing to do with that culture because all negative it's actually will lead actually to repressing something which is part of you whether you like it or not and then what happens is you lose confidence in yourself all the time so you have to define yourself based on what you say and uh, the things that you hide are not coming forward, but they are, in reality, they are seen in you. So uh, many youth should avoid having this feeling of, 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 of inferiority, uh, we, we call it inferiority complex, and be proud of who you are. Uh, and being different uh, it does not make you lower than anybody else. This is very important. God created everybody and he created us in different colors uh, from different parents and our parents come from different backgrounds. So you don't need to be like uh, X and Y and Z to be accepted in society. You should uh, establish yourself as the poet says, it's not who my father was is who I am. And nothing wrong, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mentioning that your father is from this or that. Otherwise, denying your past, denying your culture, denying your heritage will not help you to improve. Will actually you make you inferior. And if you think inferior inside, you will remain inferior and it will be reflected on you. So, uh, you know, uh, this is very, very important to understand, to be proud of your heritage. Nothing wrong where your parents came from. Nothing wrong if your parents were so-and-so country, they come from so-and-so place. There's nothing wrong. So don't look at your parents in, 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 in a way that they are lower than you. This is a problem that is happening. I heard many people, oh, oh I'm, I wasn't born there. It's my parents who was born. I have nothing to do with that. Well, you are actually the fruit of your parents. And your parents, they have come and done the effort. Had it not been for them coming and migrating to this place or the society where you are today, you wouldn't even have existed. So this problem of denying your past, denying your parents is not a solution. It will actually lead you to losing self-confidence. Of course, this also could lead to the next point, which is uh,